Hey guys, and welcome back to Auction Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and last time we spent the vast majority of our time trying to work down through this system here, trying to cool down this uh, the steam turbine enough to actually start turning over some power. And we did uh, finally achieve the goal. Unfortunately, then we had to kind of abandon this one on the right hand, on the left hand side here, and only concentrate on the one on the right. Uh, we can actually bring its temperature down low enough to 90, let's say 95 degrees to get this turning over. The problem, unfortunately, is that the power does not hold. And actually what I want to do is bring this down to a much lower temperature, so hopefully it will end up uh, having a knock-on effect and cooling this side down. When I find out that this has actually dropped down below 100 degrees, I will come back and uh, have a look. We had a, a few tests last time where we were trying to bring in the heat from this side, but it was just too, too hot. You can see that the liquid, um, liquid coolant here the petroleum is coming through at less than 100 degrees so it means that we are definitely bringing all the all the coolness or rather taking the heat out and reducing it down turning it into steam which eventually will be turned into power. Uh, today I would like to get on with a little bit of farming. There are little critters up here, poke shells. These guys are someone that are something that I have not had any sort of interaction with whatsoever. We're not going to do it here because we've got a hydrogen vent that I would eventually like to turn into a system. So I think we're going to have to build it maybe up here. We've got a leaky oil fissure up here, but I, I think we can just ignore that. Mostly all the oil is being dealt with down below. So I'm, I'm, I'm really not going to do uh, really not going to worry so much about that. Wow, I made this oil well out of lead. That's that's totally going to melt. So the first thing I'm going to do, totally just going to rip down all this stuff here. It, it's not, not the end of the world. Uh, maybe keep hold of this. Uh, I like the fact that we've got this uh, section of base segmented off from everything else. So we're probably going to keep that there. We've got a little bit of a hydrogen trap here, but I think this not oxygen pump, we're going to end up moving up here somewhere. It's actually a hydrogen pump. It's to move all the hydrogen back down. Perhaps even we'll move it all the way up here to the very edge of space where we're not actually losing anything. Ooh, and pump this very cold hydrogen back down. That might actually be... Okay, let's 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 set that up. I didn't, I didn't think we were going to be doing this, but that is the thing. We're just clearing space for the poke shell farm obviously so that's what we're going to be working towards where's my atmosphere sensor gas element sensor i'm going to pop this down here yes indeed and then if it does send uh, detect any sort of hydrogen it will send uh, send that back down we obviously do need to send some wiring up here let's get that on the go let's first cancel this i'm wondering whether we want to swap this over to the other side but no we'll, we'll go with that we'll cancel those and if i go for the power what is the most uh, most material that we've got here. Looks like iron is the way forward. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll do that for now. Of course, we are turning the rust into both iron and oxygen, so that's all good. Okay, that's a long line. That's going to take them a long time, and of course, the thing that really needs to come out afterwards is a gas pipe here to go back down to the wastes. I want to do it insulated. It's cold. Let's do it. Okay, so this is the space that I want to put the poke shell farm in. I think the first thing I'm going to do is to let this flow. Once we've dealt with that terrible idea, we'll try and figure out why putting the poke shell farm here is also a terrible idea. You know for some reason it's going to end up being so, and we'll just have to try and find out why. One thing I might do now that we are at this point is start ripping down some of this old pipe work for how we were dealing with chlorine. Obviously, that this is not just not how we deal with it anymore. So, yeah, ripping all this down, rec reclaiming the materials, maybe saving some space for the hydrogen that I'm, I'm totally going to get to at some point, guys. Totally going to get to. <laughs> a little disappointing that we just keep ending up with little bits of salt water everywhere. I don't, I don't even know how we're doing it. <laughs> Last time we put up these insulated tiles to try and contain the heat, and I've got to say, it looks like it's working. This is good, this is good. Now that it's gone dormant, all of these uh, wheeze water are going to have a, a merry old time freezing this uh, this area over here. In fact, it might even get a little bit unbearably cold. We've had that before, but, you know, we'll, we'll see how it plays out. This uh, hopefully is... No, I was about to say hopefully it's been brought back into line, but it looks like, no, it's still ridiculously hot over here. I definitely want to rework the pipes here to be a little more biased towards one of these two. In fact, this one down here of the natural gas generators, just so we have more of a constant flow going through. We're at a point where we're we're not even topping out. So if we have a look at this and think about it, if we just kind of break this for now, uh, and at some point we will build another section coming off here. If I really want to be a bit of a sadist about it, we think we'll go for a couple of bridges. Uh, I, I mean, I do. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, we're going to go with that. Mm, no, we're not. 
Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, it's already gone. I was about to say, I'm gonna cancel the deconstruct on that pipe, but this was uh, just a little bit too quick. What I'm actually gonna do is put that one there, that one there, and we can use that and that to round off the system. All right, beautiful, beautiful. That should work out a lot better. I'm not gonna stay on the highest priorities, just a P9 will do. So I put down zero degrees, thinking that it was an achievable goal, and then went, oh, we might get too hot down here, and changed it to 50. Turns out just getting to 90 might be an unachievable goal, uh, given how long the uh, the power doesn't last for here. So if we put 90 in there, it, we're a bit bit out of time for this one because the moment the whole system starts slowing down as you can see the temperature starts climbing again uh but yeah it'll be interesting to see tomorrow whether we can get some actual coolness out of this actual chilling of the steam uh, it must have been last thing before they went to bed. Mr. Line has dug this out. I didn't see this happen, but there's a pile of materials on the floor and all this water everywhere. So I've asked them to dig out the rest of the area, and I think I'm even going to go far as far as doing that because I want to be able to mop this up. I'm assuming that at the moment it's a little bit too much liquid. Okay, yeah, if we spread it over this, I'm hoping that it's not too much liquid. And if all else fails, we'll build a little uh, little thing here and, and spread it out much further. Uh, and hopefully that will be good enough for us to then start bottling it up and sending it over to what appears to be our ethanol store over here now. I'm just doing a bang up job over here, to breaking all those down. But I saw, yeah, over here whilst moving around, the Mad Frank and Shroudkers are going around doing the massive deliveries. I can see that a lot of the power wire has actually already been laid down. That's good. Of course, the gas wire is just, the gas pipe, sorry, is just as important. But I suppose the, uh, the iron ore is a little bit easier to lay hands on. Right, we spread those liquids out. Is it enough yet? No, it's still too much. Okay, we need to go and place down a tile over here. I think we'd be okay just doing one tile, as it appears that uh, it, there isn't more than one tile tool here, and we're trying to spread it out even further. So that should, in theory, work out well for us, right? If you if you take a set amount of something, you smear it over more of a, an area, you should end up with less per block, right? Yeah, that's how that's how these things work. Okay, tile in place, and this is coming along to dig all this out. Let's see if it flows enough. I'm going to P... Uh, no, sorry, M9 this. Now, we could slightly hack it by knowing that it's not flown far enough yet. And now doing it like that... I, I mean, I feel slightly bad about doing that. As you can see, we can't do it there now. Uh, and I'm wondering whether, even when it's all evened out, whether it's going to allow us to do that. No, I, I feel like I've got my, my super hacks on. Let's, uh, let's set this to a high priority, like a super high priority, and see who's going to come along and deal with it. Hopefully, a whole bunch of people and then uh, all this should flow back I, i'd actually want this to be a fairly high priority as well mr legit thank you very much uh, that's just exactly the type of neighborly behavior we are looking for here I really should turn that off now that someone's been told to come and get it nine would be great uh, i want to be able to uh, to mop some more up though let's just keep that going all right beautiful beautiful now that now that we've got that that first bit through slightly unethical means we should be now okay to pick up the rest like this so Luna seems to have got stuck in a tiny loop of just mopping up the tiniest dregs that flow over. So if I move her to over here, does it mean that she moves into a slightly thicker area and gets to pick up larger amounts? Okay, that's a nice little tip there for anybody also struggling with said problem. Yeah, look, she's back to it now. So let's then move her to the other end of the line. <laughs> There's an awful lot of ethanol here. She's picking up a kilogram each time it flows. That's, that's a lot. I'm just throwing out some numbers that I've been observing here. You can see that this is kind of like dropping up and down, up and down. I was having a look at the amount that these consume. We have a look at the power. And here you can see it's a natural gas... Uh, sorry. 90 gas per second that's exactly what i was trying to say uh, and in here you can see that we are bouncing around 190 grams per second it's actually about 200 at the moment that was good when i last looked at it, it was somewhere between 170 and 190 so that that was working out in actually incredibly well uh, but where we've got this slightly increased gas rate uh both of these are now being fully provided for i'm yet to there we go see the third one go uh but yeah okay so it does turn out that while the natural gas geyser is under full flow you can indeed power three natural gas generators but whilst it's not doing so you'll only power two night time's been cooled but i'm not having that can we uh, tidy up this area over here please guys it's very very important that we get this ethanol off the floor i mean it's not actually very very important but you know what we are not going to be opening a uh, a 
a, a ranch over here. Yeah, I remember what I'm talking about. We're not going to be opening a ranch over here unless we can deal with all of the area, and that means picking up all these liquids as well. So come on, guys, get it, get it out of here, get it out of here. It's amazing how fast a concerted effort between the entire base will get these things cleaned up. Oh, that's beautiful. Very beautiful. Cycle 639 might just very well be leaving them to pick all this stuff up and to build this line going all the way up here. So we've given them somewhere to live, but of course that is not the only consideration when looking after creatures. Let's click on his, these guys again and have a look at what they eat. As you can see, polluted dirt or rot piles. Now we can make those relatively easy, quite kind of passively. If I come into the food and we go farm tiles, I kind of want to put all of these, oh, hey, no, will you not let me do that? All the way across here, and we'll just fill them with millwood. Unfortunately, because we've got so much, uh, so much of picking up and moving of stuff, I don't actually want to go ahead and do that quite yet. I'm going to hold back a little bit on it. Uh, obviously, if I replace the tiles underneath, then these things will fall down down here. And so some places, that's quite awkward. Every time I look away, the steam turbine gains another 10 degrees. I don't understand because when I'm watching it, it drops by 10 degrees. Is there a difference in the way these guys are being processed when I'm looking at them as opposed to when they're like off the edge of my screen? If anybody knows, let me know because oh my gosh. Ah, uh, this is dormant. This is dormant. Uh, we we got a problem with dormancy on all our power systems. That that is the big issue. We got we don't even have coal ticking over. Oh no, <laughs> we got some hot wood. That that's all we got ticking over right now is hot wood. Okay, the end of a day when I've expected a lot of power to have been flowing, we're down to 103 degrees. Which as we're at about you know 110, that's that's not too bad, but it's still not going in the right direction, especially as we're at 300 degrees down here now. Ah. I noticed I was uh, having a lot of temperature seep up through these tiles, so I've deconstructed this top layer here and asked them to be rebuilt as uh, igneous insulated tiles, but that might take a little while to get going, though I do see a lot of igneous rock being picked up there, uh, but unfortunately we've also dropped a lot of heat in here. I uh, picked up all the petroleum that was in front of the steam turbine and some sort of thought that maybe that is what was uh, causing the temperature to be moving back and forth. I don't know, we'll find out. 139 is a very hot temperature though. Oh, I've got the game paused, and you know what that means. There's a bit of wire missing here. Oh, God, guys, uh, everything has broken down. I just want to say, look, this is now broken uh, over here. Uh, just whatever. And things have been overheating to a great amount, and the reason... Or that. I didn't notice that this one had gone. And the reason for that is because we're not getting enough liquid through here. The uh, the hydrogen somehow just disappeared. I'm not sure exactly where it's gone. I'm going to assume it's gone into here, but I'm not sure how that would actually work. Because it needs to go in. Oh, maybe we consumed it all in the hydro, uh, the anti-entropy thermo nullifier. Yeah, that might, that might be where it's all gone, actually. But anyway, with the addition of this pipe, this is what I've been trying to say, we can go ahead and make this work. So hopefully that will then all work out for us. Got a little bit of a problem that I'm not sure how much gold amalgam. We need five kilograms, and I really do not know if we've got much, because the only ones we can actually get are from the surface. We've got 12. Okay, we've got some of them in there. Okay, that's, that's good. That's good. The other thing I want to talk about is this setup down here. I know. It was crazy that I want to talk about this again, as, even though I was just talking about it. According to the uh, auction not included database, the thermal aqua tuna, whilst running upon the power of the petroleum, should be able to cool down 10 times the amount of heat that this steam turbine is putting out. So we have a big problem somewhere along the line. Something is just not getting made the way that it needs to be made. And now, unfortunately, because everything is super hot in here, we actually need to start thinking about different ways of doing it. And the first way I'm going to do is to... Mm, I was just about to start taking everything out. Let's start up here. Let's just let's just wipe all of this out, and we're going to start taking everything down. Uh, mostly, I feel like the temperature is coming in through these heavy watt wires. So I'm going to use insulated tiles and uh, just all my general know-how to try and isolate this area completely off from the surrounding areas. We're going to get rid of this gas pipe. Let's do that right now. Just be like, be gone with you. Uh, in fact, I might even now that we I stop and think about that, keep those ones. Everything else is going to go, though. 
So I had this system running on a liquid shutoff valve because I wanted it to be seeing whether water was coming in from this side. But I've just realized I can do this a much, much simpler way. And in fact, I think I talked about this at the time, but for some reason I decided not to do it. If I get, uh, not a gas bridge, come on, let's do this right. If I get a liquid bridge, throw it around this way and pop it like that, I think we should then be able to destroy all of this. Yeah, destruction is where I'm at. Press an F6, grab a copy of that and move it down into there. Then this liquid bridge should be outputting to this pipe but only when it doesn't have salt water in it. That's the plan. I'm hoping it works out rather well. It does mean when there is salt water the restricted flow coming from this valve will be completely undone and it will back up in here and, and, and stuff like that. But that then the moment the salt water isn't flowing that will stop. So I, I guess we're okay with that. Uh, as you can see I do need to restrict the flow because we've got 10 kilograms of water coming through here and even after it gets, uh, gets selected from we saw that turn over it's still 10 kilos of water there we go it's gone down two kilos there so uh, we definitely need to to send less water through Okay, my plan here is to use a large power transformer to make sure the flow of power can go, but without letting the flow of heat through. I don't know whether that's going to work. We're going to use iron over here. I'm going to come across. Let's make sure that it's uh, reachable from just about everywhere. We come down here. That's not reachable if I do that. How about like this? Okay, like that. Okay, most of this should be reachable. Uh, we're going to have to open this door up to let the people through here, but also I now want to start destroying all of this and the most awkward one is this here this heavy watt join plate we need to try and get rid of that and then replace all of this with insulated tile which is totally what i'm gonna sell you might be wondering what's going on with the poke shell farm yeah so am i let's have a look we're uh, we're doing okay still waiting for a lot of this stuff to get picked up i'm not sure why it's not being moved over here directly now i assume someone is on it luna is actually on it and i uh, haven't set this up to receive ethanol so there we go so this uh, liquid bridge here seems to be pulling about 200 degrees in. Let's try and get rid of that as well. I'm just literally going around looking to see what is not, what, what is bringing in stuff from the outside. I don't want stuff from the outside to be getting in and messing with my life. Also, now that I've got this insulated tile up here, I'm going to press F2, I'm going to press X, and we're just going to destroy all of that and replace it with some conductive wire at some point. I also want to come along and actually wipe out all of this as well. We're going to replace it with a still large transformer uh, going the other way. It's going to be connecting up to the hot the the wire uh, to the heavy watt wire but coming in from conductive wire it, it should hopefully work okay we have a slight problem where we don't have enough iron on the go uh, i've asked for an awful lot to be made but we just got to wait for the people to come along i don't know what priority you're on here seven uh, so i can only assume other people are off doing other more important things like uh, running around here uh, okay this, this is fine for now you know what's not fine it's still how hot this is let's uh let's go you Utilities. Let's drop a temperature chef plate in and see what happens. It's not steamy water, so it should just bring it down. I did not have granite. What am I doing? I wanted to make that out of ice. Oh, I might, I might not actually have any ice left. Okay, cool. cool I suppose, or not cool, as the case may be. Ice. Yeah, yeah. we're we're nearly out of ice. All right, fair enough. So this is molten lead here, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem if I come along and do that. That then leaves us a nice, like, um, isolated area here for me to be able to knock this down, replace it with a insulated tile, and then continue sealing this off afterwards. It's also we can remove these two heavy watt plates without letting all the petroleum slash uh, crude oil spill up into this area. Forrest was the man, the man with the highest uh, errand on the steel, but I thought I'd watch him come around and do all these other things. Why didn't that work? It's got power. Oh, there goes a little bit right there. Let's watch that. Oh, no, no. Let's watch this go. Is it going to all get consumed by that? No. Okay, so then a little bit more is going to go off to the power. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. But more importantly, Forrest, what are you doing here? That, med that um, supply there, I'd really like you to go and do that. Of course, while there's all this coal to be delivered, it looks like he's getting a little bit sidetracked. Let's go and have a look back down at this and see who else might be having a high errand priority. Uh, it really does look like it's just Forest Mimi or Jelly coming along to do it at some point. How about if we just click it up one more? How about if we alert it? Yeah, there we go. All right, that's a lot better. Oh, just to really continue messing with me, this large power transformer is just, like, I mean, literally just over temperature. I don't know how we're going to deal with that even slightly. So my first plan is just to drip it down and we'll figure out how to deal with all this steam in here, I suppose. Like, the door is 300 degrees. Where's it even got that from? This tile here, maybe? I don't know. We'll rip it down and find out. 
Because I truly am an intellectual, I've decided that the only way to deal with the overheating issue is to destroy all the steam. Indeed, the fact that we've got water condensing on this already kind of speaks to how well it's going. Wow, we Well, that sure did take long enough. I'm not sure exactly how long it took, but a couple of cycles, something like that. Finally got all of this in place so we can start crushing this steam out of its very existence. Turns out I didn't need to put those top ones onto the crushing device anyway, but it turns out it is fine. We'll get rid of all that steam, and then we're just going to start bringing the temperature of this right down, hopefully. Oh, no, what happens when Miss gets crushed? Oh, it turns out... Nothing. She can't actually be crushed. That's fine. That's fine. I've gone ahead and taken out all of these. Oh, Forrest, you can't get anywhere. Let's uh, ladder B and put that across there. And then hopefully he'll be able to escape. Uh, but what I'm uh, hoping is going to happen here is all the gas is going to filter into here from all the different directions and then get crushed as it can be. I'm actually going to turn this down to a 15 here. Uh, and that should allow all the gas to seep on in there. Waiting for this to get built. Let's see who's on it. Mad Frank, it turns out, is on it. All right, dude, if you can, go and deal with that. Okay, the next very dangerous activity we need to do is allow people back in here to start changing all of this out. And I also want to replace that, but that's going to take a few more steps. Let's make this the highest priority and see what happens when old Frankie boy gets down here and destroys it. Hopefully, like I say, this will be the first thing he destroys so I can then put this insulated tile up in place. Also at a ridiculously high priority. Hopefully that's now super, super job number one. Uh, maybe, maybe not. We'll, we'll see how it works out. Hoping we've got a little bit of iron in there to be used, but no, Frank is going to have to find his other way into there. That's all cool. I'm wondering how Miss is going to make her way down and in with the doors opening and closing all the time. I can see her dropping stuff, but let's see what happens. No, she just makes her way down and the closed doors have kind of got a pin. That's fine. I'm very interested to know uh, how much steam is trapped in here with her you know that that would be very very interesting indeed let's just put that on a on a nine the fact that jelly's now coming over to deal with it makes me a little sad liquid phosphorus has just condensed in here interesting okay with this whole system in place now let's try and lay this and see what happens i mean what's the worst that could actually happen well what, what the worst could be that i don't have everything set up right so let's put that there let's go b let's go up and across and i don't think we actually want to go down here we want to carry on across to about here right and then we'll destroy this lot okay that should work out for us all right beautiful 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 and then by doing that we've then freed up some space for this large power transformer to sit there and get the conductive wire coming down here yeah okay that what that works for me that works for me i mean i say that works for me immediately nighttime got called uh just cheers guys Okay, so we put a large power transformer in. Being made out of steel, its overheat temperature is 275. Thankfully, none of the temperatures around here seem to be anywhere near that large. So we uh, we should be doing all right. I'm going to carry on leaving this uh, dest destructor running down here because hopefully it will just eat through all of this gas and make it a nice environment here to, uh, to exist in. I mean, who are we kidding? This episode started off as a poke shell farm and now we're doing this again. So uh, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so this whole area here is now definitely headed in the right direction. We were at like 240 earlier and we're down to 180 now. But as I say, remember when this episode was supposed to be about poke shell farming? So let's come on up here. You can see that we've got Misaline coming along and doing a lot of the farm tiling here. I also want to copy these settings, start getting some millwood done. Of course, we've got all these ladders in the way, but that's going to be our next ploy. I've been going around asking Luna and everyone else to tidy up just a little bit. There seems to be just a little bit too much uh, debris on the floor. Unfortunately, the fact that we've got all these storage bins just full of equipment everywhere it means that maybe maybe actually it's a, a spacing issue so let's just let's just uh, go ham on this shall we well, did i press the copy key i did all right beautiful beautiful bam look at all that stuff that i'm going to uh store up there this is taking damage somehow this carbon skimmer and i'm not entirely sure how is it the carbon skimmer that's received damage it might actually be the pipe in the background or is it the yeah it's the lead pipe don't know what what happened to give it damage i assume it got too cold oh it is too cold look at that minus 20 the moment water goes in there it is done for uh how do we bring the temperature back up a little bit we come over to here and we have a have a go with these these are minus 100 i don't I'm suddenly like, okay, well, let's 
Let's think about it. If we're coming over here, we're minus 19. So let's say minus 70. And that should bring us up the, the required number of degrees. Obviously, it's not exactly how it's going to work, but it's going to bring us up the required number of degrees uh, to get this back above freezing, hopefully, or at least like above minus three. That, that's what we really need is above minus three. Especially as we're like making ice here. Wow. <laughs> Just throwing up a quick little stopper tile on the end because we've got a tiny, tiny amount of ethanol in there and I'd like to pick it up rather than let it drop everywhere. All right, the carbon skimmer seems to be working. We're at minus six and climbing. We could probably do with another 10 degrees there. So let's say, my, let's go minus 50. Give it another 20 just to be on the safe side. I mean, the fact that we're freezing carbon dioxide around all of this might be a little worrying. <laughs> Ah, uh, the ethanol has dropped. Oh, there it is, there it is. I was about to say, the ethanol's dropped somewhere, but I don't see it. But there we go, we have got it, which means I can actually just deconstruct this. It turns out it was not necessary. Okay, the carbon skimmer is now well within tolerances to stop uh, stop freezing the water, so that should work now. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to panic everyone into putting stuff into these two storage bins over here, mainly because I want to get rid of all of this stuff down here. I think it's going to be uh, feeding some heat back into my steam turbines, and I, I don't like that. I don't like that. They're both, uh, all the piles, sorry, are hotter than the steam turbine itself, so we need to try and uh, to not let that be a thing. Okay, one foul swoop. Everything has been picked up. Let's put that back down to a nine. Let's also say, hey, pick that lot up at some point, guys. Uh, and then everything should work out, right? So we're in a race, and I'm not sure which way it's going to go. Down here, we have got 302 degrees. If we get up to 325, this will start melting. Here, we are 150, though we have already brought it down from 200. So I'm not sure which way this is going to go. We've climbed maybe eight degrees down here. We've lost 50 there. Hopefully, it's it's going to work out. We, we should have enough overhead. Uh, if we Even if we take another 8 degrees here and go up to 300, and, uh, let's say 310 to be, uh, 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 I was going to say generous, but the other way, to be pessimistic, uh, then hopefully this will bring it down to the 95 that, we, that we'll set this off with, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Big, big hopes. Back at the top of the base, this is almost very nearly been finished, but I have just realized that there was actually a bit of a problem with us ripping down the power transformer over here. You can see that the uh, the movers and shakers inside our puff farm actually needed that power. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come along, I'm going to ask th this sorting bin to be destroyed, and we're going to hook it up to the system over here. If I get the power and I go, hey, can we have this power transformer? should be able to just like hang this on here. We'll take the wire down and across and in, and that should work out wonderfully for us. Just waiting for people to come along and do that. Let's have another look down here 104 like seriously where is all this temperature coming from no matter what i do it seems to just carry on going up i just i can't do anything about it let's also at the same time destroy these liquid pipes just in case because you never know i'm gonna try opening this door to try and get rid of all the gases that are in this little pocket here i'm hoping that will work uh, I, I'm not sure how it wouldn't, but we'll, we'll, we'll hope, we'll hope that. What I'm actually thinking is maybe we want to drop two insulated tiles just here. Ones that we can break afterwards. Try and seal off the, the temperatures here. It might work, it might not. We'll find out. Nighttime was about to be cool, but we've got three bits of wire to do here, so uh, let's let's get them nice and finished, shall we? And that's the entire system up and running again. Beautiful, beautiful. It picks up the slime, sends it over towards the uh, the mushrooms over here. Nice. Gone back up to 140. How has this happened? How has this happened? Yeah, I can only really think that it's this manual airlock letting some... Well, not actually the steam, but the temperature is seeping out through this door, warming up the air outside, and then moving its way up there. So let's see if we can close that off and make that ha make that better. Oh, no, Mrs. has got a guy herself stuck inside. Can she... No, 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 please. I need you to move down here. Can you do that for me? All right, beautiful. Now you can finish off these builds. Ooh, okay. That should now seal this door off and hopefully start bringing us down to temperature. I, I'm hoping. I'm really hoping. It, it's plummeting. As we are watching it, the temperature is plummeting. This is good, right? I'm, I'm hoping this is good. We'll find out. The thing that I'm observing right now, and the thing that's confusing me quite a lot, is the fact that this has been staying about the same temperature in this steam turbine here, but this door has dropped by a good 10, 15 degrees. So maybe we're extracting all the combined heat out of the system, and because we've got hydrogen, which is the most thermally conductive of the uh, of the gases, I do believe, uh, because of that, maybe we're spreading the heat out too much. I don't know, it could be anything like that. Hopefully, when we bring this door down to temperature, then everything else will be down at temperature. 
we hope. Anyway, Poke Shell Farm seems to be doing the business here. What I want to do is come through here and I want to not let Cubic have access into here because Cubic would want to come and tidy everything up. In fact, Jelly as well. I don't know whether we want Jelly to go. Let, let's, let's restrict Jelly's access as well because he might come along and try and tidy everything up. All right, so like that, hopefully now all this millwood will stay on the floor. As you can see, it's unrefrigerated. And if I uh, remember correctly from the wiki, the shelf life of this thing is four days, four days only. So what I'm going to do now we're gonna go for the crit. I'm gonna go, hey, poke shell. Uh, let's try and move one into here and see how that goes. Is there one? Uh, normally, there's one down here causing us a bunch of trouble, but I think we killed it. Uh, so we'll have to go finding one elsewhere. You, you are now our top priority. Well, not top priority, but you are. You are the person we're gonna try and grab. Person, poke shell. They're all the same. Okay, we've had a poke shell delivery. This is pretty good. Legit is waking his way in here, and I can't help noticing that the millwood is not around. I'm hoping that's not because people have been going around and tidying this up. I can definitely see people delivering stuff down here. Let's have a look at the edible. Let's make sure that the mill lice is not part of that link list. Okay, let's also look in some other areas where we ask for things to be delivered, like over here. Uh, not you. How about you, mill lice? Let's turn that off. Beautiful. Oh, no. Le legit. No. What are you? You doing all right how do we stop that well obviously we stop this by upgrading past the need to use uh, mill lice as food probably <laughs> There's just extra heat coming into here from somewhere. I don't know. Maybe this wire, but the wire just doesn't look like it's passing the heat through when I go and have a look at it. Um, oh, oh, that's a, that's an everything overlay. This uh, insulated tile here, when we... Uh, not insulated tile, ins insulated gas pipe. When we go and have a look at it, its temperature is less... Well, 157. What, what about this one right here? Insulated gas pipe. Are you bringing the temperature in? Is that what's going on? 150. All right, let's, let's rip these down as well gas pipes if possible uh let's do that he's classing himself as confined how is this the case what does he need to to not be ah oh, it's because he was in the door all right let's put that on auto and hopefully someone will come along and fix that for us beautiful beautiful gotta wait for this millwood to uh mill lice sorry to to rot though it's gonna take a while all right the first job that we set up today has finished um i'm not sure that i want it pumping straight away because you know gases and stuff power more than anything let's just say none uh, and it will just keep that turned off for us. Beautiful, beautiful. In fact, whatever. If we if we set it up to pick up hydrogen, eventually it will run out of hydrogen, right? That's that's the plan. Let's F4 it. Let's see. Oh, it's only down here. Look, we'll just keep pumping that out until it can't pump out no more. Yeah, it'll be great. So one of the big problems we've got down here is the fact that the power just does not flow. You can see it flows for a little bit, and then very, very shortly afterwards, the power then dies again. And this is where we build up a lot of temperature in this little area here. I'm not sure exactly why. I, there's obviously some sort of leak. I'm wondering whether it's this bit of pipe here. Uh, that, that's hard to try and put a bridge across and maybe move the liquid vent down one. Uh, that's something to try later. It is, of course, an insulated pipe, so it shouldn't actually do anything like that. I don't know whether the the pipe is actually doing a bad here. It could very well be, now that I stop and think about it. This liquid bridge could be where all the temperature is coming from. So let's... Uh Oh, I can't, I'm not going to be able to get in there to fix it. I was thinking, let's change the bridge over to this way and then have a pipe coming down, an insulated pipe coming down. Uh, let's just ask for it to be set up and see if anyone can even get down here to do so. I don't... I'm wondering whether they can fit under this way. That That's the big question. I doubt it. In fact, it's, it's already labelled as an unreachable build, so no. Yeah, this is something that I kind of hate doing, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to throw a couple of ladders in there, and I've allowed people to come in. Let's uh, put it at a high priority, because I would like this done pretty quickly, if possible. Speaking of pretty quickly, this uh, this geyser over here has just turned back on, so we're waiting for all of this to come through and do its thing. Yeah, it's got all the hydrogen there to back up and keep it cool, so hopefully this will keep running. Oh, we've got a bit of a bit of a problem there, but that, that should be fine. All these gases should be filtered out. I should imagine someone's going to have to come down here and give this a go at some point but that's that's fine that that's all good it needs just a bit of a kickstart and it will be there okay we had a bit a little bit of a problem where the timer here was making people not be able to get through this little section so i've had to extend the timer and turn up the priority of all of this in some sort of hope oh i really should have drawn that out some sort of hope oh, we're gonna have to open this up and then uh do some mopping on this side that we can rearrange all of this plumbing in here i am a little bit guided about how it's worked out in the 
end, but I think we should be fine as long as we do that as a top priority. Okay, now let's see what happens here. There's a whole bunch of stuff that needs to go down. I'm hoping that the petroleum floods out and over this one. It looks like it might actually do that if we can keep this door open. Mimi should be on her way down to do that. Where is she? Oh, she's like all the way over here. It's a long distance away. Why aren't you doing the thing that's right close to you? It's a little disappointing and we're going to let a lot of steam out into this area if we can't do this as quick as possible. Super worried about all the petroleum. Um... Hmm, yeah, super worried about all the petroleum. We're gonna have to drop some more steam in here, right? How do I always end up breaking that? Did it melt? Is that is that what's happened? Have I melted some lead in here or something? No, I, I don't know how I keep destroying this thing. It keeps being destroyed and it's not it's not something that I'm doing. I don't feel like it's something I'm doing anyway, you know? Okay, Shroudskus is also the man we've got to stop coming through here. That's, that's easy enough, though. Okay, because of this petroleum, I'm slowly building a little way across here so I can try and force it back up to here so we can mop it. I don't know where, um, I presume Luna is. Yeah, I'm not allowed to do this one at the moment. Why not? Well, that's super awkward. This last little bit of uh, petroleum got pushed up rather than sideways. Ah, that's... Yeah, come on, guys. Come and fix this for us. In other news, this door is nearly below 150 degrees. So uh, that's good, right? In other news around the base, this one's about to go dormant. But it's kind of okay because this one over here has just woken up. Uh, so that's pretty good. This uh, steam turbine has got itself um, another 11 cycles until it turns back on and the final final gas guys are over here 10 cycles until dormancy so we're kind of okay for you know two cycles all right it took a moment or two and an awful lot of super high priorities but we got all that petroleum cleaned up nice nice the temperature oh has been dropping down nicely this door over here is the one i'm looking at 140 with the steam turbine 125 which is possibly the lowest we've seen it apart from the 110 right at the beginning of the episode <laughs> Another strong thing is the fact that the thermal aqua tuna seems to have dropped down by 20 degrees just by putting that layer of igneous rock across the top. I have a feeling that actually that was all quite cold, so it cooled everything down quite a bit. I mean, I'm about that. I am about it. Oh, I was doing so well, and then the power stopped. Oh, we dropped a good, like, 15 degrees there. That was great. So I've just noticed that our steam turbine over here by this uh, natural gas geyser is not doing so well. So I'm going to come along. Uh, it's, it keeps topping out at the, the top temperature. So I'm going to just rearrange the gas pipes here. You can see that we've got, like, 95 degree water coming across the top here uh, in a radiant liquid pipe, taking uh, quite a bit of heat into the steam turbine. So I think what I'm going to do is try and rearrange all the stuff that does that to put it out and away and away from the steam turbine uh, and then use this nice cold polluted water that we've got coming through here to uh, to redistribute it all okay this pipe work is gonna have to do for now i think it will work out well for us why isn't this one being done who is on it uh mimi and mad frank and people like that seem to be having troubles with the end of the shift but you know whatever i am not gonna let that get in the way of trying to fix this thing because man really we do we do need to get this done if at all possible Okay, and this should now be nicely chilling everything down and totally didn't have to call Red Alert to get everybody working on this overnight. Oh, no, no, that would be uh, that would be an unethical abuse of power right now. The temperature bringing its way right down. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, okay, so this seems to have been actually the issue and hopefully now we can keep this running at a fairly high temperature. I did ask this to uh, to only turn on at a high temperature, right? We'll, we'll double check that quick. Uh, no, no, we... We have no control to about over it here at all, actually. Look, this wire doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> oh, we're actually down below 120. Hype. Okay, let's go up here and have a look at the next thing we've been working on. This poke shell. Have you been tamed and or... No, you're still wild. Do you have any... No, okay, so let's come in here. It's already high priority. Decipher can come on in here. Let's let's push it up slightly higher because, of course, this is our newest and greatest um, pro uh, project. Project's the word I'm looking for. Why hasn't this been broken yet? Do you think? I kind of think. Let's uproot this one. Let's turn this back into a tile. Doesn't look like I can do it like this. We're going to have to deconstruct. My plan here is to drop a riff fridge or rator, which will be in the food, uh, and turn this into the place where we store all the mill lice, but 
I believe if meal lice rots inside the refrigerator, it doesn't hold on to rot piles, right? It just drops it on the floor, yeah. Is it is a rot pile even part of this? Let's have a quick look through. No, no, so it should just drop it on the floor. Okay, I'm down with that. Cook supply, yeah, we are, we're gonna have to turn down the priority of this one quite a bit. Let's say that this is an eight, and then we'll set the refrigerator in here to a nine, right? Okay, refrigerator down. We're going to come in. We're going to go edible. I want the meal lice in here. It's super high priority. Then when this fills up, it should then allow the overflow to come down to the microbe musher. That's the plan anyway. So this will fill up with food that slowly rots. I know it's a refrigerator and it's supposed to stop sp uh, food spoilage, but uh, that only works if we power it, right? That, that That's my big fingers crossed moment. All right, it worked. All right, sweet. Nice. Cool. I'm about it. I'm about it. Are they all going to go in at... No oh, no. They all come in at different measures of fresh... Okay, this is good. This is very good because, of course, we want to rot this all down before this guy starts complaining about being hungry. Let's have a look. Where's, where's his... Uh, does he have a food? Does he have a hunger? I don't know. Hmm, maybe cutting this line over here wasn't the best plan. You can see how this is all backing up here. This is exactly why we put this little sensor in place. To, 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 to notice all this. Hmm. Yeah, mostly this poke shell experiment is going very well. We've got some uh, some rotting food in the, in the refrigerator here. But the problem we've got is that the oxygen is just not high enough pressure in here. I'm not sure what's happened to it all. It's not around. So I'm going to have a quick look and see if there are, is any oxygen that we can scavenge from somewhere. I mean, this looks like somewhere that could do with having some taken away from it. Okay, I'm going to do something horrific to try and get some air up there. We're going to turn this around. We're going to go that one, that one. Uh, I'm going to go for a gas pipe. We're going to drag this from the end of this set of um, atmosphere suits. I'm going to not do that. Wow. And uh, then we're going to drag this across and try and jump over this line, go up here and into the poke shell area here to produce some oxygen for it. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Let's get that down. Okay, I told everyone it was the most important job on the planet and they have come through and provided. They've cooked up this entire line here for us to be able to pull all of the oxygen. Oh, the frame rate there was pretty terrible. Uh, to, to drag all of this oxygen up and to dump it into this area where hopefully we can keep the pressure up for the millwoods because that, that's actually actually what we're doing here. The fact that our poke shell has just escaped from there makes me a little bit sad. Let's wrangle this up, let's make it a high priority, and let's also then shut all these doors. Totally didn't know that they could actually jump up a too high gap. Did you, did you know they could get up and over this? I didn't. Okay, now we're waiting for Decipher to come along. Right, we've got a little bit of a wrangling going on. Is this also a high priority? It is So hopefully now Mr. Decipher will come along and do this a uh, high, high, high priority. Let's just make that happen. Mad Frank is going to come down and do this. I say come down, I thought it was up there. But it turns out, no, he's just going to bag him up from down below and come along and drop him off in the area. I don't like the fact that Dr. Captain Subs appears to have just picked up a mill lice seed here. Let's come into this, and I want to just turn that off, really, you know? Okay, instantly we've created a much higher pressure environment here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, look, we're going to get watch a, uh, a little bit of grooming here. Is this poke shell going to come away being a good friend of ours? I think not, actually. It's going to take a little while for that wildness to dro drop all the way down, which is kind of good, but also kind of bad. Kind of good because the food food is not ready yet. Kind of bad because, you know, we'd like to have him nice and tame by now, right? Oh, we are about to drop below 100 degrees in this little chamber over here. Yeah, this is cool. Ah, the power died. That That's pretty bad. You can see as the power dies, the temperature raises back up again. I'm hoping that it's actually because like the steam in the background is uh, uh, soaking in that heat. Uh, soaking in that cold, rather. Transferring its heat back over to the steam turbine. Oh, show me some some water down below here. I was going to say some frozen water, but that's not quite. There we go. Some condensed water down the bottom. Now, are we going to be able to get this thermosensor down to 95? That is the next big question. I'm not sure if it's going to happen until more power gets made somewhere. 97's a good, good start. Let's keep it rolling, guys. Let's keep it rolling. Morning has come along and hopefully that means that people are going to put more coal into the power generators and produce some more power to keep this rolling because we've just run out of power again and every time we run out of power, the heat seeps in from different places. I'm not sure entirely all the different places heat, the heat seeps in from, but it does mean that we have a little bit of trouble. 97, 96, 97 95. Oh, no, come on. Just down to 95. We can do it. Yes, here we go. 95.3.1. Okay, this should now be firing up and turning back off. I, I don't know exactly how it's going to work, but it is also going to turn this steam into slightly less hot steam. 
Beautiful, beautiful. And again, nice. The real question, of course, is what happens to the temperatures coming out of here? Are we going to have to shut this down at some point when it gets too cold? I suppose we should hope that the power's a bit more steady before that happens, right? And I think we might be here. I think we might finally be into the situation where this is just going to carry on turning over. We're turning the steam into less hot steam underneath. We've got a little bit of phosphorus we have to worry about there. But the fact that the phosphorus is condensing means that... Let's have a look. The freezing point, the vaporization point is under 280 so that's good we're bringing this steam back down into a slightly more easy to manage temperature ah that means this is going to be cooling down but at the same time this is also good ah it's beautiful it's beautiful and with that i am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen today we made ourselves a nice little poke farm that does definitely seem to be working towards its main aim we're just waiting for these foods to get rotted away and also we finally got to the point oh finally finally where this is starting to be nice nice and cool. The big temp the big question I've got is how long until this secondary steam turbine becomes even colder. But I will see you then when we're going to figure out all of that. Bye!